it's Eric Kuda from the NHHA. We're here at round four of the Kenda SRT National Hand Hound Championship. It's actually raining right now, or just starting to, just sprinkling um, out here in Española, New Mexico. Quite a long drive. Um, and I'm here with Rick Alcon. 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 Yeah. Too many letters, but Rick yeah, Alcon. So yeah. So he is actually with Team RNS, um, which is also part of Gasset Off Road, and they helped um, put this event on. I mean, they're already doing it, but help, help help it become part of the series in just three weeks. So Rick, can you give us a quick, you know, quick rundown of what you got going on out here? I know you guys have been doing it out here for a really long time, but just, uh, you know, give me a quick rundown about it. Sure, it's great. We've been out here uh, doing this area for about 30 years now, and we have a variety of different loops and things that we can do out here. Everything from real tight technical enduro stuff to some wide open kind of what we call high desert racing. Yeah. <laughs> it's certainly not uh, big sand dune kind of stuff, but it's a lot of fun. We have a great time out here. Um, we've had a couple different kinds of series out here, and uh, we're sure, certainly glad to be kind of reunited with Gasset and bring NHHJ on board with this particular event. I think it's going to be an outstanding time for the guys out here. Heck yeah, and uh, Matt, actually doing the video right now, said that this is the largest pre-entry that they've had in quite some time. It's 90? 94. 94 pre-entries for your side, and then we had about 60, so that's 150 riders before it even has started. That's just pre-entry. So we've got a good turnout as far as you guys have going on sure. uh, normally. Um, so so the loop, so this is a little bit different um, than the normal National Hair and Hound. We've got a couple different things as it's, um, because it was so quick to be put together. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about the course? Sure, so the course is a uh, 25 mile loop that we run multiple times. Um, kind of a semi combination between a hair scramble kind of format and a hair and hound format. So it's long like hair and hound, but it's multiple loop like a hair scramble. The course itself is a lot of fun. It's uh, We throw in a lot of mix on this because we have a lot of different kind of terrain and variety to do out here. So what you'll see is two or three miles of really fast wide open wash, followed by two to four miles of a lot of twists and turns and, and maneuvering through the natural terrain here, which is, you know, ravines and valleys and uh, juniper trees and yeah. pinyon trees and stuff like that. Very so, similar to Utah. Yeah, yeah so Utah and Idaho. So, yeah. so it's a lot of fun. This area doesn't get a tremendous amount of local pressure. So when we come out each year for our event, everybody really enjoys it because yeah. it's uh, it's a pretty fun course to ride. Heck yeah. So on the 25 mile course, all the A riders and pros will be doing four loops. So that'll be the Rattlesnake 100. That'll be the That's full right. 100 miles. All the B riders will be doing three loops, 75 miles. And all the C riders will be doing two loops. And then the one loops will be the Ironman, which are your local minis. Yeah, uh, our super so, minis. So your local super minis. So for our super minis and all the local super minis that want to race twice, you'll be able to race on Saturday. So if you can give us a little rundown of the youth courses as well for Saturday. Sure. So we have modified our format for our youth races on Saturday, or from our youth races on Saturday. Uh, we normally only have a little one or two mile loop out here. We run it multiple times. Um, we, we kind of stepped it up since this is a national youth here now. Um, I think we're going to have about a, they're still finishing marking right now, but it's going to turn out to be about a six mile loop. I think it'll be a good test, again, of a variety of different things for the guys yeah. and, uh, they'll, and and gals. Yeah. And uh, hopefully they all come out and uh, we'll run them for an hour in the middle of the heat and they'll be excited to be done, I think. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. So it's great to be out here in New Mexico. Make sure to stop in Espanola on your way out here to get some gas and stuff. Um, we're not that far out of town. I do want to tell you that as you're coming out, it does come pretty quick. Uh, the Road 48, it is basically a little cattle guard. There's some arrows right there, so just keep an eye out for that. Um, so we look forward to seeing you guys out here out at the round four of the Kenda SRT National Hand and Hound Championship. Yeah. So Let me just add, add one thing real quick stuff. on that. When you're coming out, look to your right. Look for the mile markers. When you see mile marker eight, coming out of Española, then you'll immediately start seeing that cattle guard on your right-hand side. Okay. There's a big tall uh, 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 antenna tower that you can see for a long ways away. We're right there at mile marker eight. Be, wet. Be ready for that. All right, we'll see you guys out here. Thank you very much. Thanks, look forward to seeing you out.